a, uh, another packet of materials. And this one is from Catherine. So Catherine, I'm going to be working on your uh, envelope of materials. And I'm going to go through before we start. And let's see what all you have supplied for us to work with. So this is a, a little baggie. And, oh, look at this. Now these are really new to me. They're very sturdy. And this is kind of like a, uh, almost like a wooden piece. So got that. Ooh, look at this. Got some birds to work with. Ooh, that looks almost like a jewelry piece. You see that? And then these, oh, look, this would be fun. And we got some buttons. Let's get all of this in here, like a little uh, jewel. So we've got several buttons to work with. And we've got this ribbon, very pretty. Ooh, we're going to have a good time. And so here are some papers. I can see these being really like borders, maybe a background, part of a background. Beautiful. Love. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be some fun to work with. Look at that. Love how it shimmers. And these are some uh, woven, woven fabrics. Oh, that's going to be pretty. I love the teals. Oh, that's going to be really nice. So then she has this envelope here, and we're going to open it up and see. So we've got more of the sparkly background, little motifs here. It's going to be fun to work with. And then just some black pieces of paper that's going to be really useful. And this looks like it's very similar to this right here. So we got some hearts going on. And this is like a rose color. Oh, there's a pattern right there. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really tell if you can see that or not, but it's textured. And then here's two more pieces right here. Oh, these are uh, very thick, very uh, heavy paper. They have a little bit of a, a, a modeled effect. Ooh, look at that. Got an owl, and it's already almost like it's already collaged, like an image. Some uh, seafoam green paper. Kind of like a royal blue, almost a navy. Nice. Oh, I bet she made these. So here's some paper that looks like it's got some like spray ink or something like that, splattered paint, but it looks more like ink. I'm sure she'll let me know. Oh, look at that. Those are some pretty colors. These are my favorite colors right here. I love these colors. And as I try to use everything, I will be working with this folder as well. So let's get started and make sure I am recording. Yes, I am. So I'm going to just sit here for a minute and think. First, I'm gonna grab a substrate where I've been moving my office. Where did I put them? Oh no, oh here, right here. Um, here we go. So I'm just grabbing it random. This is red, it can be glued over. So I am moving my studio upstairs into the attic and uh so it's i can hear my hear it echoing in here <laughs> but anyway it's going to be fine so let's see where do we want to start and so right away i'm kind of being drawn to this is a background i really like how this is so i really don't want to take a lot from that. I really like that. I think that's going to be really nice. 
So I'm just going to keep, this one's going to start off really easy, I think. I really like it all, so I'm just going to cut out the uh, around the edges here, and and if I glue this down, then I'll cut around these edges. So for right now, I think that's what I want to work on is just setting myself up for what I know is a good way to get started. Now these are just painted from another project. But you could have all, you know, left them. You could have left the, the red if you wanted. And it still would have been fine um, with this owl. But, let's see. But when I have things to work with, I really like to use them. Really do. I think it's always nice. I mean, that's why if anyone's sending me materials to work with, that is what they want. Okay, so we're just going to make sure everything is as well adhered as possible. And I have some that's not sticking so well right here. And it's because it has a little bit of grooves to it, I think. So I think that the more glue you use in some cases is better. It keeps definitely want things to stay glued. I like to fold inward like this because I really want it to get to that edge. This is really an interesting piece of uh, paper. I like the way it feels. All right, so we're just trimming that out. Okay. And so I know that I like this owl. Now this is going to be where we can make some decisions. We can either come over here and create something uh, some design over here um, we can do in the center we can doodle around and doodle on here so let's see if we can come up with something a little more interesting than um, what we have right now really I'm liking I wonder if we do lines and okay so I've got an idea so the first thing I want to do is glue this maybe maybe like this in this corner so let's do that and then I'll show you where my idea is coming from now I like to always try to glue out toward the edges don't have to worry about being super you know neat so let's see I think I said I wanted to come down here and I'm gonna have a little bit of an overhang because I do want to trim it off but it, it's easier just to have a little bit coming over and so I'm gonna let this glue dry a little bit before I start trying to cut it with my scissors so what I thinking is cutting some strips and I'm, I'm winging it and I want them to be right now about this size so what is that about an inch maybe half an inch okay now I'm gonna gun Come back and I want to try to go in the middle as best as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to cut the excess that we have on the back over here. 
because we don't want to um, give ourselves any situations that we may run into because we forgot to do that. Okay, so it looks like there's no right or wrong side, so we can just grab it and go. So here we're gonna go with the first one. And we'll get right here. So we're going to let that dry a little bit and let's move some of this and I'm going to look, trying to think, I got my red marker but I don't know if that's the one that I really need. Let's just see, we could kind of come in, so this would probably be a good time to take and accent some of the red that you see in here. You okay? We can add a little more. Okay. And if you want any of the white to kind of come more forward, you can just scratch that in. And that's essentially what I'm doing is trying to follow some of the pattern. Kind of working with like some of the feathers and, okay, let's come down here. And I could probably Take this and hit some of the darker areas to so just bring that back. But just kind of bringing that in. Just anywhere you think you could you know, it could, you could do a little something to make it more interesting. Okay. Now, uh, I think I want my gold. Let me see if I can find that gold paint pen. Maybe a gold gel pen. Let's see if a gold gel pen. About these two, I'm not sure. So let's see, we'll put some in here. So we're just going to come in here and play. So this is where we start to make it really our own. And you just use your. These can be part of like um, I don't know, just some kind of a something. I changed my ringtone in case you can hear it. There. 
So I guess they're like a bolt, maybe. So this is kind of just a fancy setting of some sort, somebody's window or porch. Let me see if I can get a little bit more out of here. I definitely think I'm gonna have to invest in some pins soon. really trying to learn how to be a, a pen person because to me I can just do this so much faster with ink um, with paint <laughs> all right I should probably put the top back on let's trim up the, the sides here just think I want some of this to be a little more pronounced. If I can get a little bit more paint. I gotta work with that pen, this pen. Alright. Oops, I missed one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try with a, let's see, what do I have? Oh, I've gone black. I'm going to see if I can just hit under here the black gel pen. See how I'm just, and I'm, the whole idea, let's see if we go all the way across. Let's see if we can just do it straight across. And the whole idea is that it will kind of create a shadow, but we're not doing a whole lot. Probably could bring it down just a teensy bit more. It might look like where some where it's been weathered. Sometimes just the more you, you just do with these, you can create, you know, that whole story or a story. And it makes it more interesting. At least that's what I think. You see, I'm not trying to be super neat. You know, just coming underneath. Let's see if we can be really rugged here. Okay. All right, all right, I think that's it. <laughs> I think it turned out all right. I really like that. I hope you do too. I hope you'll give something like this a try. And, oh, I'm in the wrong shot. <laughs> there we go. Hope you'll give this a try. All right, I've enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And thank you, Catherine, again for your materials. And we'll be doing something tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.